Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley B. Deck. Thank you so much for tuning in and rocking with your girl today. I am so excited. I feel like I have so much to be thankful for. We have finally made it through the school year. We have T minus two days until my little ones are out for summer break, which means a break from mommy from waking up in the morning. The catch 22 to it all is that I'm dealing with the kids more in the summertime because they're not at school. So I'm happy. I'll be able to focus on giving you guys different content. I really want to do a cooking channel um, and just cook every single day for like, I don't know, like a year straight, 90 days straight, just really maximize. I want to get my cooking status to like J9 status and I don't know if there's room on this channel for that. Or maybe I should just switch it and just do cooking here. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I did vlog, we went to Legoland last weekend, but that's neither here nor there. The star of this show today is this beauty here from Ara Bella Hair. She comes as this gorgeous body wave highlight wig. We have the nice dark roots so it does look a lot more classy than you know when you do um, blonde highlights and they go to the roots. I set it off with some baby hair but you guys can see you can definitely skip that step. And yeah, I set her off with some beautiful, sexy curls. We did use the Babyless Flat Iron. As you guys can see, the body is bodying. I'm getting a little bit better with my curls. Let me not jinx myself, but I did use this uh, curling iron here. So I'll have this one in the description box. I think this is my favorite one to date. You guys know I am on a journey to get like really, really bomb with my curls. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into the install. You'll see how I install this one for beginners. You'll also see the curling process and all of that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Okay, ladies, this is the wig straight out of the box. Today, I'm teaming up with Arabella to bring you this new Highlight Gold Sand Transparent Lace Wig. Here is a look at the inside construction of the cap. This one is set as a 13 by 4 lace front wig with a body wave texture. I'm going to start off by prepping my wig. I'm just using a foundation or you know what? This is actually a concealer um, to go ahead and buff inside the lace. This is going to warm up the lace and make it blend with my complexion. Then I'm going to anchor the wig with the elastic band they provided and then put the back of the wig on followed by the front. This is a close-up of the body wave texture as well as that gold sand highlight color. This combo is absolutely fire and I'm super excited to share her with you guys. Now I've been wearing this wig for a few days and I'm absolutely in love. She's absolutely gorgeous and she looks amazing in natural sunlight. I'm just going ahead here and cutting off all of the excess lace that covers my ears. This is going to give the wig a custom fit to my head and make it fit, you know, nice and snug. Next up, we're going to go ahead and customize the hairline now this is a step I honestly didn't think I needed now if you really really want it pre-plucked I would highly recommend just put her on a wig head take your time section out some hair in the front and just go crazy for me I knew that I was going to pull some baby hair forward that kind of acts as a finesse when it comes to the hairline um, but you know it's always a great idea to customize your wig to your liking and like your flavor now I'm going to go ahead and bond her down since I don't have on makeup already I'm going to do with the lazy way which is almost the better way which is to apply my adhesive directly on top of the wig directly at the hairline kind of clean up any extra that may drip down too far and then put the melt belt on top um, and allow that to dry now this step you can allow it to air dry or you can blow dry on a cool setting i chose to blow dry because you know i didn't feel like keeping that on the whole time now we're going in with the hot comb and i paired this with the wax stick and what do we call this the dynamic duo this combo is like gold it really works together to melt the hairline and all of the hair and make it super super neat my son is gaming, so I have to have him close my door, but I'm going to go ahead and cut off the excess lace. And as you guys can see, everything is flat and flush and such a clean hairline. So if you are a girl who does not want baby hair, this is definitely an option and you can for sure skip the baby hair step. You guys can see how gorgeous it looks, but you know. If it's not for you, that's cool. But for me, I'm a turn up. I just sectioned off a little bit and you're going to see later. I'm going to add a little bit more. It's always a great idea to just do a little and see how you feel about it. If you change your mind, you can just push this uh, baby hair back at that same wax with that uh, electric hot comb and it'll disappear right back into the wig. And then if you decide you want more, you can gradually add more as well. Typically, I'm a one and done girl and I get it right the first time, but I was trying to be modest and keep it a little 
little bit classy and then you know later on i'm gonna turn up now the edge control i am using is from also from my brand bdagbeauty.com and i'll have it in the description box it works amazing on my natural edges as well as my lace wigs and as you guys can see i did the swoop the sideburn and then i decided it was a little bit skimpy up there so i added more i did the same on the opposite side but i did that off camera because i mean you can barely see that side anyways now i'm going to go in with a concealer in my shade and just pack it into that parting to give it a more flawless look and then tint the lace along the hairline with a foundation powder in my shade i am very heavy handed with this if you do this for yourself and you find it to be a little bit too powdery you can go ahead and set it just like you would set your like base foundation by just spraying it down like when you spray your um like oil sheen or even like a hairspray like a holding spray like your um sebastian shapers or your i am drawing a blank your got to be glued spray it'll melt that product in and give it more of a wet look and then it'll dry and look a lot more like a uh skin you know what i mean and so now i'm going to go in and curl the wig this one did come with a nice body wave texture but i did go ahead and make it a little bit more grown and sexy with some curls i am using the babyless curling iron this is one of my favorites a smaller barrel is better for um like more defined curls when it's all like said and done now i highly recommend you go in with smaller sections also but your girl is impatient so my pieces and sections are a lot bigger than what they should be you can also use a heat protectant as well as your holding spray i did the rest of it off camera not to bore you guys and look how well the hairline melted with that melt belt now i'm just pulling the hair apart with my fingers all the details on this one are in the description box as well as a direct link isn't this bomb doesn't this look good i'm gonna add a setting spray and then we are done we are done with the look baby girl it's been a few hours i actually had to come back in and redo the curls a little bit because uh, you know mom life i started the video installed the wig went about my day and now i have a few times to talk to you guys and play in this hair so we are working with our bella aura bella today they sent over my beautiful package in this pink dust bag um the wig itself appears to be body wave 26 inches um, and I'll have all the specific details on this one in the description box. Inside of my package, they also did give us this little mesh pink goodie bag. You guys already know when you see these goodie bags, it's kind of like a if you know, you know, you know. Wig caps inside, baby hair brush inside, um, melt belt, and it's like a cheetah print. Pack of nice lashes and then they also included like a pearl clip so you guys are no strangers to this package um, it's nice to get good uh, goodies but you guys already know essentially what is going to be in here now the hair itself and the highlights are the star of the show loving the way they look now for me personally when I do highlights like this I do kind of prefer it if the highlights have a darker root i just feel like in general it helps the wig to not look too cheap or too, like cheesy if you will so i'm happy that um the highlights didn't go like all the way up because sometimes when these highlights go all the way here it just almost devalues the wig in a way it makes it look a little bit more cheap and cheesy let me know if i'm the only one who thinks that way as far as the wig goes you guys already know my left side which i think appears to be on your right what you're looking at this is my left um my curls just always come out way better on this side and so i just need more practice on this side as you guys can see it's like blah um but still good so I'm just going to try and touch it up a little bit as I talk to you guys. The install was very simple and easy. I did initially just go in and decide I wanted no baby hair. But when we got to the end of it, I kind of just feel like I was giving like Spongebob square head. I didn't like the way my hairline looked. So, um, and you guys did see I did tweeze it out a little bit. So it wasn't that I didn't tweeze it. It just was, I don't know, I just felt like I needed baby hair. Um, but obviously baby hair is an option um 
the curls itself this was a nice wavy texture so you could kind of stick with what they provide but i always recommend you amp it up if you're like me and you're not as comfortable with a curling iron i highly recommend a wand curler yeah let me know what you guys think of this one i think she came out absolutely gorgeous you can also again i think i already said it but you can cut layers to kind of give a little bit more of a vibe it's definitely full enough it's definitely enough lace. I honestly can't complain at all. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of her. I have a link to her in the description box. I'm sorry I'm a little bit fidgety in this video. I was trying to touch up this side so you guys can get the gist. Thank you guys so much for watching. Target top. I got this in the, I think it's the Wild and Fable side, the teenager side. Um, and it was kind of affordable, probably under $20. So I'll have that in the description box if I can find it. Direct link to this wig is in the description box as well. You guys already know I work with Arbella all the time. I do have another wig from this company that I'm staring at right now. So you'll probably see that one in maybe next week. So t stay tuned for that. Don't forget to subscribe, like, or just rate this video. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches.